And we're back in the wild wasteland of Mad Max. Welcome back, guys. Jesus Quesadilla here, your humble shepherd to the wasteland. Uh, in the last episode, we made our way here to the graveyard, and we're going to go ahead and pick the body for our magnum opus. So, I think you have like a handful of selections. You have about five of them here. Um, some of them I'm not so big a fan of. I'm not into that Model T sort of shape, so I'm probably not going to go with that. Um... I believe the Wild Hunt is the one that I went with in my initial playthrough of the game that I did for this Let's Play. So I'm going to pick something different. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the Furnace, because I kind of like the look of that. So, yeah, that's going to be my magnum opus. I'm not sure if you're, like, locked into this choice for the rest of the game. It kind of seems that way, at least, from what I've gathered, but, you know. Not a big deal. I'm sure it's just purely cosmetic. Oh, that's not unnerving at all. Okay, so that's cool. Alright, so now we learn how to evade attacks, which will be incredibly useful. Trust me, you want to not let this guy get a leg up on you, because he will ruin your entire day. Alright, and now we got the shiv. That'll come in handy. Nah! Yeah! And shiv punisher. Nice! Get bent! Oh my god, there's so many of these guys, they're just endless! Uh, at a certain point, I'm gonna have to run here, because I can't just stay here fighting these guys all night. I mean, it seems like I can, but... Trust me, you get tired eventually. Oh, come on. Ah. No, 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 no. Haven't you ever heard the one-on-one -on -one rule? You're supposed to just stand there and watch while I beat up your friends, like in Assassin's Creed? You know what? You don't like to listen, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Stay down. Oh, shit. Okay, that's not good. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh hey. Oh hey, golly gee. Oh, Black Betty, my arm Oh, Black Betty, my arm Gotta play my getaway theme. I guess Black Betty's gonna be my getaway theme. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh god, they're throwing Molotovs at us. Where the hell did they even get those? That is a waste of perfectly good liqueur. Probably don't use liqueur, you probably use vodka or something, right? Would seem more appropriate. Oh no, okay, vehicular combat. <laughs> Alright, so you can either shoot at them or you can ram into them. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot right there at that gas tank. And just blow that car the fuck out of the way. You know, why don't you move? Nope! <laughs> Ain't gonna work. Not today, goof troop. Not on your life. Okay, hey, how's it going? Oh god, oh god, okay, yeah, let's not, let's not run right into the fire. Probably be a better idea to stay away from that. Oh man, oh jeez, this place seems so much bigger than when I first showed up, this isn't good. Uh, I'm gonna try and conserve my ammunition because one thing this game nails really well about the Mad Max universe, at least in my opinion, is the scarcity of ammunition and the fact that it's so damn hard to come by. Um, you really... Whoa, god, okay, that's not good. You really struggle to, uh, find ammunition out here in the waste. And whoa, that was badass. Nice landing, sticking that. Alright, so it's called the Magnum Opus, not much of a car, but we'll make it work for us. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, here we go. No, no, now would be good. So this is one cool thing that you can have uh, Chum do, and a really good reason why you should keep him around is because at any point, if you want to stop the car and give him a second, he can actually fix it up for you, which is really, really useful, because the damage will always carry over between every fight you get into, so you need to periodically have it repaired, so it's nice to have him around for that. Um, I really like that there's like that lingering effect, like health for both your character and for the car don't automatically regenerate, so you actually have to go out of your way to make sure that you're always good on health by drinking water, making sure Chum always has your car in tip-shop shape, which is really nice. Also, that is a bloody moon. That is like beet red in the sky there. But let's go ahead and get this thing back, see if we can't tweak it a little bit. Get some of the features going on her. Alrighty. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Wow, that's foreboding. Oh, hey, buddy, you should probably rest. Don't walk around with that bad leg, shit. Okay, let's go ahead and see here. You know, I ain't no vet, but that dog's probably seen better days. 
And uh, speaking of, let's go ahead and talk to this guy over here. His back seen better days, I'm sure. You need to see a chiropractor. We need parts, scarce as they are. Help me gather all this scrap. Bitch, that's what I've been doing all game. Harpoon. Oh my god, you look way too happy about that. Okay. Harpoon the whale, he says. Aye aye, Captain Ahab. With the harpoons, mm. we'll gain entry into many And so the game kind of just gives you a bunch of scrap right here, just in case you hadn't been collecting it, because otherwise there'd be no way to progress. Little do they know, I'm a completion whore, and I want to get all of the scrap. So, we got all we need? Just junk and pops. Yeah, we actually need like a harpoon, buddy. Yeah, but the jag tip, it's, it's not here. I know where it is. <laughs> Go ahead, save some time. Yeah, okay. I gotcha, I gotcha. Why, why did you just have this in your bed? That's a really bizarre thing to keep in your bed. Probably don't want to know what orifices that thing's been crammed into. This harpoon will be very useful. You know, I just realized what, what uh, Chum Bucket reminds me of. He reminds me of... Uh, God, I can't believe I'm even admitting to having seen this awful movie. But the Human Centipede 2, the main bad guy from that, looks just like Chum Bucket. Also Smeagol. It's like if the bad guy from that movie and Smeagol had a love child. A disgusting and sensuous love child. Okay. Do you wish to- yeah, of course. Why not? Alright, now we got a harpoon! And let's get a- yeah, a ramming grill. Why not? So, the upgrades, as you'll notice right now, are fairly cheap, although that's because the game kind of has to let them be that way initially, but eventually they'll cost a lot of scrap, so you should always be collecting it. Yeah, it will. And more importantly, it'll mean the end of me! Alright, let's do it. All right, let's do this thing. Cowabunga, bruh. See those metal monsters? Yeah, Those sure do. Boys, put them up to mark their turf. Bring them down for good. Ramy could damage our front, but it should work. All right, sounds good. Boom! Take down the scarecrow. And usually, when you destroy stuff like this, you can also collect some scrap from it. Of course, there are always going to be war boys lurking in the area, so it's generally not a good idea to get out of your car um, when there are still people driving around. But we're pretty safe here in the tutorial area, I guess. Up there? Alright. Well, if I can find my way over there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like there's a path over here. Sometimes these mountains are really hard to navigate your way around. Damn! Okay. That was a really gnarly crash. Alright. You can also bring them down by using the harpoon gun. Let's just go ahead and lock onto that. Oh, wait, what? No, I want to use the harpoon, my bad. I just wasted a bullet. You'll, I, I'll do that a lot, honestly. I've noticed the one thing I have a really bad time with is remembering to switch between my weapons, so sometimes I'll accidentally fire my gun when I mean to use the harpoon. And at that point, it's just a waste of ammunition, which is already really hard to come by. Alright. Got another Scarecrow left. Let's see if we can bring her down. So, this is more or less like your, like, sort of small objective that you're always keeping in mind during the game is destroying these things. It's kind of akin to, like, uh... I don't know, something like, maybe like the Radio Towers from Far Cry, or like the Eagle Vantage Points, how you're always collecting those in Assassin's Creed. It's kind of like that. All right. Okay, so this one they do want you to use the harpoon for sure, because they have some defenses built up around it. That's pretty easy. Now bring her right down. All right, awesome. Nice. All right, sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. We should scout it first. Always think before you rush in. All right. Yeah. It's amazing people's priorities here. The world's come to a total end, and the thing they decide to put all their time and effort into is pumping oil. The thing that probably caused the end of the world in the first place.
That's cool. All right. Let's see. Gates defended. All Snow right. Nothing too bad. Flame pipe. War cryer. All right. Nothing can't handle. Watch your spies, right? Can't Lots of defenses. stuff. I'll deal with them before it. Yes, yes, nothing our sweet Magnus cannot handle. I mean, yeah, basically. So, more or less, each camp, which is kind of like a fortress you have to take down, there's gonna be a bunch of them in the game, um, has its own, like, set of defenses that you can scout out, or you could not if you want to just rush in like an idiot, although, from my experience, that doesn't tend to work out very well. Believe me, I've tried, and that seems to always end with me dying somehow. Go figure. Oh, that's okay. This gotta be quick. And let's bring that down. Alright, what about the gate? Alright, oh shoot. Alright, you know what? Let's, uh, got a little bit of a reload time between the harpoon there. Alright, and let's bring her down. Come on. There we go. Damn! What a shame we couldn't harvest anything from that. All right, time to get in there. Let's see, how am I gonna... Still gotta get through that gate. I guess I could just bash it down, doesn't really matter. In fact, that might be what has to happen. Yeah, it's a weak gate, can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and actually, can I... Can I use this? Will this work? Let's try. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and back right up into it. Make sure they can't get away. Stay put. All right. How many bullets do I have left? Do I have any ammo? It'd be nice to know. I have one single bullet. I know exactly who I'm going to use it on. Got to use it on that war crier because he's going to buff all the other enemies if you don't. All right. Cool. 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 Got him. Nice. And their war crier is gone. What now, bitches? Yeah, not so tough now, are ya? Alright, nice, nice, nice. Get wrecked! Oh, sit down! Finish you. Oh, uh, nope, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Why don't you all just wait your turn? I know I'm handing out ass whoopings, but... Y'all can take a number. Nice. Ending it with a headbutt. Probably the stupidest fighting technique to ever exist. They left nothing. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And let's see. I want to make sure I get all the collectibles and such around here before I move on. Looks like we got one in here. History relic. Oh, who's this family? Oh, Yeah, about that. I don't think there's any coming back from wherever you are. Will I? Will I ever come back? Wow, that's that's deep, Max. That's that's real deep. You've been shopping at Hot Topic lately. Come up with that line. Destroy it. All right. Yo, what up? Yep, intruders, my name. What up? Come on. Oh shoot! No, no, no. That was the wrong button. I was trying to roll out of the way. Clearly, that didn't work. No, no. Fuck me. No. Oh god, oh god, no. No, no, put that weapon down. Oh, no. Fuck off, no. No, I want to focus on him, you idiots. God, I love this, I'm just ping-ponging them back and forth. And you're done. Oh, hey, you asshole. Really, you want to fight me off when I just stole that shiv? There we go, whoa. Sandstorm out of nowhere. God damn, okay, uh, shit, I can't see anything. All right, get to the oil pump. How do I get there? God. All right, let's get that. God, there's so much scrap around here. Uh, good golly. This is insanity. Holy calamity. Okay. And let's go ahead and get cover over here. Ooh, a scrotum insignia. Wonderful, let's break that down. Tear down this wall, Mr. Scrotum. All right, you know what, I should probably drink up. I'm doing pretty bad on health right now. 
Oh, good thing I got a full canteen, though. That's nice. It's always good to have handy. It's basically like having an extra life bar. I also like that you can't really use it if you're in the middle of combat, because obviously if you're in the middle of combat, you can't stop to take a drink from the canteen, which kind of helps balance that out a bit. I always hate, like, games where you have, like, instant heal items, because it's like, why would it work that way? And we got some more scrap over here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find all ten pieces, but I'm going to try and get as much as I can. At the very least, I'd like to get all those... those scrotum insignias. Okay. Let's see. Oh, God. This is just no let-up to this whatsoever. It's just raining down. It is raining men. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so we got two ways we can go here. Let's go up first, maybe? Explore around up here a bit. What do we got? Got some scrap over here. Anything else? Oh, no, we got ammo. Nice. Well, that's good to have. Definitely glad I found that. That would have sucked to miss. Yeah, trust me. Even just finding, like, two shotgun shells helps immensely because you don't know when you're going to need those. There's just sometimes you're going to really wish that you had a couple spare bullets here and there. They do a good job of being very sparing with that. Okay, let's go ahead and slide down. Last thing I need to take is fall damage right now. That would suck. All right, what do we got? What do we got? I'm surprised there aren't any war boys down here yet. Kind of the feeling like there might be some around the corner somewhere. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's not looking too good. Ah. Uh. Okay. Ooh, there's Scrotum's Insignia. Let's see. Am I gonna have to... I might have to shoot that, actually. Yeah, so it is a good thing I have those bullets. So I'm gonna need to take that down. Why the hell do you have a Insignia up in this place over here? Like, who the fuck is ever going to see that? Whatever, man. It's your hideout. You do what you want. I'm just saying. I'm trying to give you some friendly advice here from one crazy psychopath to another. Let's see. Got him so turned around here. Okay, I think this is the way I want to go. Yeah, this looks right. Possibly, maybe. And I'm just ready for someone to pop out around one of these corners. This is like way too easy going. Always gotta be on your toes. Looks like he has barbed wire wrapped around everything. Jeez. It's really protective of his stuff. What you got up here? Anything good I can take? Uh, it doesn't really look like it, actually. Um, no, nothing there. Oh, here's some scrap. They really put that stuff all over the place. Jeez. All right. And what's out here? I just assumed we just had to keep clean climbing up, but uh, doesn't look like that's the case. Hmm. Wub a dub dub. Uh, where is everyone? This is so bizarre. Did I just... Am I even going the right way? Hold on. Wait. I... I might have gone the wrong way. Uh, yeah, you know, I just realized I've been backtracking this whole time. Excuse me real quick. Okay, yeah, I think I definitely took a wrong turn somewhere down one of these tunnels. It's just that this game, like, it's so, like... You can go in so many different directions, it's hard not to get lost, honestly. Okay, hopefully- yeah, here we go. Time has built to this, Wanderer. Your path, however crooked, has led you straight to here. Dude, enough with the now fucking riddles. Yours and mine must soon commence. Come find me when your spirit is ready. My spirit's fucking ready. My spirit's fucking ready for this shit, man. Come on. What are you buying? What are you selling? Alright. Well, we'll meet that guy eventually, I guess. My spirit's not ready enough, evidently. Okay, Fury Gauge, so this is cool. Come at me, war boys. So, oh, here we go, Shiv Punisher. Oh, no, no, you want some too? Oh, no, 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 don't think so. Oh, God, I can't keep a combo going here. I'm having such a hard time, there's just too many of them. Here we go. God, no, no, no. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna get some counters. Come on, come at me. Come on, somebody, somebody. Who wants some? Here we go, perfect parry. 
Fucking sit down. Oh, no, no. There we go. There we go. Fill the fury meter. Kick some... Oh, German suplex. Suplex city, bitch. Oh, here we go. Oh, nasty. You sure you want some of this? Nice. Fucking wrecked. Destroy All right. Yeah, I'll destroy the pipe. Uh, just give me a quick sec here. Let me make sure I got all the loot I can first. All right, so let's see. How many pieces of scrap was that? That's number seven. Damn it, there's still more somewhere around here. Uh, oh, there's a Scrotus insignia. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. It's a pretty cool logo. I have to give them props on that. Whoever's designer is is top notch. I really like their work. All right, I knew there's gonna be some scrap back here. Looks like I'm only missing two pieces. They might also be on the way out. Um, actually, it looks like there could be something over there in that corner over there. That looks awfully suspicious. Yeah, there's some gas tanks. All right, cool, cool, cool. Any scrap I can grab? No. All right. Doesn't hurt to look. Explosion required. Okay. Can do. Let's go ahead and set that baby up. And? Oh, nice. Fucking lovely. Kerblam. Nice. Well, that said aliens have now populated the cave. I was like, what? When did we yell extraterrestrial and shit? All right. Nice, nice, nice. Only missed a couple pieces of scrap. That's okay. Got all them insignias, though. And now Scrotus just has absolutely no influence whatsoever. That's nice. All right, let's get on out of here. Our work is done here. So, yeah, it's basically just this for the rest of the game, which is pretty damn fun. Oh, here's a piece of scrap. Here we go. So, if this looks at all interesting to you guys, that's the basic gist of it. I would recommend, if you have any inclination to want to play the game, you should probably play it for yourself, then come back and watch the Let's Play. But, uh, definitely check it out for yourself first. I don't want to give away absolutely everything. There's something they's doing before we turn back. But, but we've got all we need! Why stall our work on the magnum opus? It's not for you to understand. Yeah, it's really not. See, you have your secret reasons. <laughs> I'll follow you, because I think fate favors, old chum. And, and both of us. Well, and you do too, asshole. Like, okay, admittedly, we would both be pretty screwed without each other, but I think you would be way more screwed than I would. I managed to survive on my own for a pretty long time. Take this flare when you need old chum. Point skywards and fire. All right, sounds good. Let's go meet with this weird merchant of Venice out here. Of course he wants to come meet out here in the wilderness. Why wouldn't he? Oh, never mind, old chum bucket. Chum bucket. Never mind. Never mind the old black Oh, come on. And this is what I mean with the platforming. Okay, here we go. All right. The mysterious wastelander. Isn't everybody, by virtue of being, like, a wasteland wanderer, automatically mysterious? What makes this guy so much... Oh, well. The weird desert psychedelic trips would, I guess. Dude, this filter is, like, trippy, bro. It's actually a pretty gorgeous game, all things considered. Given how little time they had to make it, especially. There you are. Shifter of sands. Letter of blood. Remnants of a... Yeah, I could just kill you and take everything you have on you right now, right? The plains of silence. Probably be a lot easier. wonder them right now. The remains of your life. A perpetual flight, an escape from all that is human, until one day, the planes of silence end, and you begin. Sure? You have a purpose in this life, my friend, although you fear to dream it. But pain will come, much more pain, before this purpose to you is made manifest. Happy mass salesman, that's who he is. Fucking nailed that. You, a June after June of drifting. Half forgotten terrors. You flee them always. These past phantoms. 
and the madness that crawls inside. You've come to Griffith for a reason, deep inside. Twisted around horrors from which you run lies your strength. Griffith can help. Help you venture down to where you don't go yourself. <laughs> I bear your true promise. Whoa, hey man. Did he just roofie me? That ain't cool, bro. Okay, so basically he is your upgrade system, whatever you want to call it. It's the Tatao, Jason. Jason, it is the Tatao. The power of the shark Tatao. Okay. Use a token to increase Max's legend level one. Let's see, there's so many options with these, and honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'd like to be able to take more damage, that's always nice. And besides that, not too worried about this stuff. The melee weapon, remain fury. Mm, is there like, let me read these real quick. The legend level thing is kind of important, but not too terribly that I really want to spend a point in it. Um, water, looting is probably the most useful, although so is that. You know, I think I took this and maybe that's what helped contribute to my fuel not running out that much, so I might just take that again. Free modes, whatever. Yeah, ammo, although that would be nice. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this, why not? Just to move things along. Two and a half days later. Boy, do I have a hangover. These aren't the pants I was wearing. What did he do to me? God. Okay, time to pick yourself up, Max. Oh, well, do not walk off that. Oh my god, I just got like insane vertigo from this. Oh god. That is, oh god, that is not okay. Alright, return to the magnum opus. I don't know how the fuck long I was out for, but I'm willing to bet that Chum ain't waiting for me down there. If he is, now that is a bro. That is an awesome wingman if he's willing to wait that long. That's trouble. Oh shit, they're gonna see that I like totally destroyed their fort. But then it shouldn't really matter, right? Okay, well that's cool. No, he hasn't. No, he's he's probably somewhere. He gave me that flare gun. Let's just do that. Nice. And here we go. Thanks, Chum Chum. Oh, don't run me over. Sneaking, spying, wanting mm. to steal her away from us. Take her no time to waste then. We could kind of build. Yeah, we should get on yes, that right away. Yes, we do. Oh god, oh god, god, just let me drive straight, please. Nitrous work, Saint. We have what we need to install the nitrous boost. Nice, sounds good. Now I can access the garage anywhere? Nice. Let's go ahead and give ourselves that nitrous boost. Fuck yeah, I do. All right, now let's go test this bad boy out. Oh, oh yes, yes, I so installed. Baptize. Baptize. Okay. I know just the place. All right, sounds good. Now you want me to hit that jump? All right, I can do that. It reminds me of that part in Borderlands where you have to get uh the catch ride all fixed up. Oh my God, there we go. God, that damage though. Don't want to be doing that too often. Why don't you, uh, go ahead and fix this for me? I'm just gonna sit right here while you, uh. It needs repairs. Yeah. Because that thing is smoldering. That does not look too good. There we go. Thankfully, it doesn't take too terribly long. Defeat the spotters. Alright, that's not too hard either. See, I got plenty of shotgun shells saved up. Even having, like, four or five is usually more than you'll typically have. I'm being completely honest. Yeah, it's a good idea. And there goes your car. Hey there. And you're done. There goes your tire. Boom. And we can just get the fuck out of there. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, hey, those guys are still around. Alright, well, I'll take you out. You want some too, bud? Eh. Yeah. I don't know who you thought you were messing with. I'm gonna curb stomp your ass. Alright, let's go ahead and get this scrap. Never have too much of that. Very, very nice. 
The one thing I do wish... Eh, it's not that big a complaint, I guess, but I wish it wasn't just, like, random amounts of scrap. I wish it was, like, actually specific items. So that, I don't know, you would actually pick up certain things that you could combine together, ra rather than just being, like, some random amount of scrap. I mean, it's not that big a deal, but it would be nice. A little extra detail. Maybe for a sequel. I have to imagine this game's gonna get a sequel. It's just tremendous. As far as, like, a movie game goes, this is among the best. Probably the only other movie game I enjoyed besides this one was probably uh, Spider-Man 2. Although I really hesitate to call this a direct movie tie-in game, if only because it doesn't really follow the plot of the movie at all. I don't think Furiosa's even in the game. Actually, I'm not sure if she is or not. She might be. Anyway, let's go ahead and start another mission. We can do one more. Hopefully. Say, oh, say, come and see. Come and see her, say. Uh, yes, she's with these hands and the blessings of the sacred solenoid. She's come to life. My sweet angel, come bust. Cute. He's so disappointed. What did I tell you? V8, not V6. Witness. Uh, exactly. Eight is the magic number. You and me, we're gonna land a big chief! A bona fide bad boy. Huh? 429 cubic inches, 460 horses, holy rolling, nobody! That's creepy how specific that, that is. Be evergreen, eternal, road sipping with the gods! Where is it? Gas town. Oh. No, wait, wait, wait. You can't just go to gas town. What does not simply go to gas town? Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, too. I probably need to get a couple of... Uh-oh. Get in the car! Wait! Wait! It's my camera! Oh, shit. No, what about the dog? No, what about the dog? No! Don't leave the dog behind! You asshole! What the fuck, man? He helped you out, come on. Max, he helped you out. Dick move. Wow. Holy shit, though. Come on, hit it. Oh my god, nice. And... Stick landing. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, we gotta get out of here. This ain't good. Shit, shit, shit. Oh my god, oh god, oh god, no, that could have gone way better. Oh no. Shit. Follow him? You want us to follow him? Really? That probably isn't the smartest idea, if I'm being completely honest with you. I kinda wanna go the complete opposite direction from these assholes. Alright, whatever you want. There really is no going back there, I'm afraid. That's, uh, been pretty well nuked. My tabernacle. Is that what the kids call it nowadays? Damn. We have the car. We need to go. It's easy for you to say. You have what you want. You know, so Christ. Christ. Stank gum. I Oh my god, that is not a good thing to say. <laughs> Alright, might as well get our way over there as quick as we can then. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, hey, how's it going? And you're done. What is this place? This part of the Great White is Jeet's territory. Jeet? Is he legit by any chance? Get it? Because legit, le never mind. Never mind. I don't know. Why do I try? Okay. Open the map to locate the stronghold. Uh, yeah, that would be the stronghold right there. <laughs> Sounds good to moi. Oh my god. And then just hitting top speed with this thing is a dream. Trust me, this is nowhere near as fast as you can go either. This is the fucking V6 engine. Oh god, okay, please just don't follow me. Oh crap. Okay, I see the sniper there. I see him. 
No, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Crap. Oh god, shit, okay. Those snipers are annoying as shit. Alright. Jeet, you better be cool, bruh. I've been killing dudes all day. Don't get on my shit list. How would you not recognize this guy? He kind of leaves an impression. Alright. Gotta love them nitro boosts. I'm almost there. Wow, this is quite a ghetto tower. State your purpose. Announce your business. Or learn to love a bolt in the brain. Uh, it, it is me, John Bucket, uh, Master Wrench Jockey, and Skill Blackfinger, who's an acolyte to the Angel Combustion who beseeches you. Uh, who's your driver? Does he have any knowledge of medicine? God, looks like you could use some. Skills? Yes, you see. Why would I need a driver of otherworldly skills? Scrap monkey! Please! Please, we aim to enter the dead barons! And all my gear! It was destroyed! My infidel scavengers! And we need to heal this machine! If you let us work here, why where it is? Saintly wheel hands and my black fingers, we will deliver to you a bona fide grease pit! Ah, praise be the prophet! Sure, why not? <laughs> YOLO! Let the crazy hunchback in! Alrighty. Well, so we got a new base of operations, at least. How long till this one gets blown up, too, though? I give her about a day or two. Oh, this is a pretty chill place, you know, got a nice scenic view of all the dust and grime. Got some recliner chairs. Some nice beds made out of rubble. All in all, pretty okay stronghold. Yeah, okay, that's that's cool, Jeet. You know, though, I think that's gonna be enough for this episode. In the next one, we'll go ahead and talk to Jeet and see what he wants from us. But, once again, guys, I'd like to thank you for checking this video out. Hope you enjoyed it. Once more, my name is Jesus Quesadilla, and if you've not already done so, please feel free to subscribe to me, and that way you can stay up to date on all my future postings to this channel. So, until the next one, this has been Jesus Quesadilla signing out, and wishing you well. Peace.